Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll look at how you can play blues using major and minor scales at the same time. So a common problem a lot of guitar players have is that when they play the blues, they're stuck just playing the minor pentatonic. But the real essence of the blues is about how you blend together both major and minor sounds. So what I want to show you in this video is something I call the double blues scale, which allows you to play both major and minor at the same time. Now this is something that people like Eric Clapton, Joe Bonamassa, Josh Smith use all the time, so it's pretty essential if you want to take your blues up to the next level. So let's start by looking at what the double blues scale is. So we're in the key of A major. And normally, if we want a really dark sounding bluesy scale to play over this, we can start with the A minor pentatonic, which of course looks like this. That shape that everyone knows. But then we can add in the blue note to turn that into the A minor blues scale. Now if we actually wanted a brighter scale to play over this, we would use the A major pentatonic, which starting at the 5th fret looks like this. And now this time we can add in the blue note here to turn that into the A major blues scale. Now the double blues scale comes about when we play both the minor blues scale and the major blues scale at the same time using all the notes available to us across these frets. And that's going to look like this. Now, there's a lot of notes here, and this is not something that you're going to want to particularly run up and down the scale with, but it's about having access to all these notes to be able to pick and choose when you want to bring out a darker minor tonality versus a brighter major tonality. And so by using this double blues scale, you get access to a much wider range of sounds all at the same time. So now let's look at some techniques to put this scale into practice. And with the diagram, you'll see the brighter major scale notes in the light blue with the darker minor sounding notes in the dark blue. So let's start right in the middle with these two notes on the G string. So the first and probably most important technique to embed this minor to major feel is simply this. Going from the minor third to the major third. So if you think about an A minor chord like this, you've got this C natural at the 5th fret on the G string here as your minor 3rd, and then the A major chord, the C sharp, at the 6th fret, that's the only difference between A minor and A major, so by simply playing that, like that, you immediately create the minor to major feel. So listen to this. Just with that really simple little riff there, I've created a little bit of blues feeling. And if there's only one thing that you take away from this video is to add a bit of that into your blues playing. Now let's take a look at the top two strings where we have this major pentatonic box and then these two minor scale notes that we can reach out to for some real bluesy feel. So let's look at the notes on the top two strings of our shape. We've got 5, 7, 8 and 5, 7, 8. Now, if I just play 5757, five, I've got a little box there, and this is the primary pentatonic box from the A major scale, and a lot of the action from that scale is going to happen within these four notes. You know, licks like that. So what I want to do is be able to play brighter major sounding licks with these four notes, and then reach out to the eighth fret where these notes come from the A minor pentatonic, be able to reach out to the 8th fret and pull out a darker sounding, bluesier sounding note when I want to. So if I look at what I played in the beginning, you heard something like this. So just look at that. I started with that little minor to major thing that we just looked at, and then straight into this box here. 
but then up to the 8th fret for a bluesier sounding note. And then again, I played that slide, that's really bright sounding, you know, really major sounding, but then straight into pulling out that note of the 8th fret on the top E there for a more bluesy sound. So what you want to do is be able to play within that box there and just reach out into the 8th fret to pull out some bluesier sounding notes. To just have a practice with that. Now let's go on to look at how we can use this repeated pattern on the top three strings to create a really dark minor sound. So the techniques we've looked at so far have been great for major tonality over the one chord, but now we're moving on to the four chord. I'm going to shift my way of thinking to a more minor tonality. So I'll be playing the same notes from the same scale, but just changing the way I think of it to bring out that darker sound. So what I play over the four chord is this. So just to break that down a bit, I'm still using these notes then on the top strings, 5, 7, 8, but I'm actually leading off from the 8th fret, which really brings in that dark sound straight away. And what you'll see from our shape, we can play 8, 7, 5 on each of the top three strings. And this is really useful because we get this cascading triplets effect. A really useful technique to have there. Next up, let me show you how all these notes on the G and B strings give a lot of opportunity to play double stops, both minor and major feeling. So what's going on here is because on these top three strings, we can all play at the eighth, seventh and fifth fret, it makes it easy to play two strings at the same time, double stops. So I could just play down the whole scale like you know, the whole scale with double stops like that on that part of the guitar. But what I'm doing in this case is just starting at the seventh fret on the G and B strings. Little bluesy flick out, upper semitone. And this fits really well, you know, obviously with a D major chord like that. And then down to here, which fits really well, you know, over that D7 add nine chord. Little, little slight bend up there for a bit of extra blues. So we've seen how we can easily use double stops for that darker minor tonality, but now we're back to the one chord. I'll show you how we can do it for the major tonality as well. And it's gonna sound like this. Where we start is with this. Five and four on the G and B strings. And just slide that up one fret. And what that does is bring us into this third here from our, from our A major chord. So this is really bringing us straight into the chord tonality. So if you think where we came from on the four chord, this little move there immediately takes us from dark minor into back into bright major. So up there, and then what we can do is play here at the seventh fret on the G and B strings, just bar that. And then really this is like, you know, from a D chord, so it's like going A, D, like that. And then when I go back to the A, I'm just using a bar there at the fifth fret and hammering on on the sixth on the G string. And that's just the same technique as we learned right at the beginning, that technique. And then back to the root note. You know, that could be a whole lick in its own right. This penultimate technique shows how we can add some subtle blues flavour by just hinting at the blue notes from both the major and minor scales. So the major scale blue note comes up in this lick we've just been looking at. This bit here. So what I'm doing here, fourth fret of the G string, all I'm doing is a quick 
slide up to the fifth fret for our blue note and back down again. And just that little flick onto the blue note there just adds a little bit of flavour to this kind of quite bright sounding lick otherwise. If it was just, that's quite bright, but a little bit of blues in there. Then onto the five chord, I play this brighter sounding lick. So no blue notes there, but it's nice to have that brighter lick there, just because sometimes conventional wisdom says you play all your really dark stuff on the five chord, so I kind of like that there. But then as we go down to the four chord, I'm gonna play some blue notes like this. So what I'm doing there, here we've got the blue note from the A minor scale, and all I'm gonna do is flick off that eighth fret down to the seventh. Twice, and then we're back to this minor to major thing that we learned right at the beginning. So I'm not lingering on these blue notes, I'm just flicking off. Lastly, I just want to talk about what you can do on the lowest two strings because we haven't touched on those yet. Now, of course, you can just play in the normal way, like down the A minor pentatonic, that kind of thing. But if you can, like what I see people like Eric Clapton doing all the time is making the shift down to this position here. And what you want to do is when you get to this note here at the seventh fret on the A string is just slide that down to the fifth fret. And what that does is gives you this box here that you can play in and then slide up to there if you need to. Now I talked about this in my five note pentatonic shape video, so watch that if you haven't. Um, but what you can do then is everything that we played on the D and G strings, like we were just doing those blue notes, I can then play that exactly the same there. So I think for my solo, I just ended on something like, Nice and simple like that, but you can do everything that you can normally do. Exactly the same there, just by making that position shift. Now before we hear the full solo one more time, here's the tab on screen and you're welcome to take a screenshot. Just remember, the point of the video is to learn the shape and the techniques, rather than just learning this solo though. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more like this, then try this video up here. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.